This video will be another short example of the candidates test applied to a function. Here we have the function f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 6. And we want to know the absolute maxes and mins on the interval negative 1 to 3. So our first step here is to find the candidates. And of course, to do that, we need to find the critical numbers, which involve taking the first derivative. So 6x squared plus 6x minus 12 and then setting this equal to 0. This can be factored by factoring out a 6, so 6 and then x squared plus x minus 2, and then that quadratic does factor to be 6x plus 2x minus 1. So we get two values. We get x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 1. And the nice thing here is, look, this x equals negative 2 is not included in our interval, so we can actually ignore it as a candidate. And this means that there's only uh, three candidates here. We have the endpoints. So here we have x. And the x values here are negative 1 is our first endpoint. Then we have an interior point of positive 1. And then the other endpoint of 3. And then our function f of x, again, was 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 6. And we're going to use the example to plug this in. So 2. And then be careful here with your parentheses because negative 1 to the third will require you to be careful with the negative signs. Minus 12 times negative 1 plus 6. And let's actually move these down a little bit so we can have some room to work. So negative 1 cubed is negative 1, so that's going to be negative 2. Negative 1 squared is positive, so plus 3. Ne uh, negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12, and then a plus 6. Uh, so here, when we combine these, negative 2 plus 3 is just a plus 1. 1 plus 12 is 13, plus 6 is 19, so we're going to write that over here, 19. And then for the next one, which is positive 1, we have 2 times 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared minus 12 times 1 plus 6. That's going to be 2 plus 3 minus 12 plus 6. Uh, 6 plus 2 plus 3 is 11, 11 minus 12 is negative 1. And then the last point is 3. So we're going to have 2 times 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared minus 12 times 3 plus 6. Um, and that's going to give us uh, 3 cubed is 27, and 2 times 27 is 54. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Uh, negative 12 times 3 is negative 36, and then plus 6. Uh, and then here we can say, okay, so negative 36 plus 6 is just negative 30. Negative 30 plus 27 is negative 3. And then 54 minus 3 is indeed 51. So clearly, negative 1 is the absolute minimum value. And that occurs at the x value of x equals 1. And then the absolute maximum is at 51. And that occurs at x equals 3. And you're done. That's it.